All right, this morning, according to this thermometer, it's below 40 below the uh, Celsius, and I guess it's 40 below Fahrenheit. The thermometer doesn't go much further, so it's cold. To demonstrate how cool it is out today, I'm gonna throw this cup of boiling water into the air. That's cold, that was boiling water. Let's go check on the chickens and see how they're doing this morning. This coop is unheated. It's minus five in here degrees Celsius this morning. And my biggest concern is my unheated water. It's an automatic water, but they still have water this morning. I, I do not have to unthaw them. I check on it in the morning on mornings like this, but they still have water, so that's good. They're able to drink, get water. Okay, here's the detail inside. The coop is on the other side of this wall. The laying boxes are on the other side of this setup right here. Inside there, there's a heady penny. And uh, this is huge for us up here in the north for getting fresh eggs all winter long when you only have four and a half hours of daylight on the shortest day where the days are getting longer now, but uh, they're still quite short. And uh, this is the design I did. This is this pipe goes out and across on the inside and comes back again. And my thinking is the heat's gonna conduct down the pipe and keep the waters open. And it's actually working. And uh, they freeze once in a while. For the most part, the birds have water. All right, well, that's my coop and my watering system set up and how it's performing below 40 below. I'm pretty happy with it. It was all an experiment. I didn't know how things were gonna work out. In the past, I would have to uh, haul waters back and forth. They would freeze and then I would bring one in and rotate them, which was fine. But if I was in town for the day, sometimes I don't know how long the water's been frozen for. And then sometimes you get reduced egg production and what have you. But uh, so far it's working really well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the nipple water is, the nipples are really, work really well because then the water, they're always getting clean water. They're never uh, putting bedding in their water and what have you or pooping in the water. And so they're always drinking clean water. That's pretty important. Um, and what I'd have to do, even when we we're on grid, we used to live on a property at where we were on grid, is I would have a heat lamp in the coop. And I even glued an oil pan heater to the bottom of the water. And then that would have to get switched out and it was a lot of work. And uh, this is an automatic water. I haven't really hauled water back and forth. I have those old jugs just in case this one breaks down, ready to go. So far, I've only had to do it twice this winter, which is pretty good. Uh, since that water's been installed, it's been very little labor and uh, it's working at 40 below. I'm happy with it. I might change a couple of things. I got some ideas I want to do. And I'm going to share that with you when I do that. Um, when they do freeze those nipples, they freeze right at the nipple. The pipe doesn't actually freeze. And what happens at night when the light's out is that the chickens go to sleep and then they won't use the water getting it recycling. So it's during the night that they get sticky. So when I check them in the morning and they, they can be frozen at that point. Um, they're really easy to unthaw with just a cup of hot coffee or water if you want to kiss your chicken with hot, hot coffee. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna, I got a light system set up. I got that rollaway egg box. It's been working really well. The eggs are, we're able to harvest the eggs right away before they freeze, which is a bonus. And um, we get them right in the kitchen, right where we need them. We pull them out and they're clean. There's no, they don't sit on them and they don't poop on them. They're not remaining in the nest for any amount of time. So that's working really well. Um, I'll probably write the details down on how I did this and uh, I'm going to start a blog post and uh, have the plans available on how I, how I made this. If uh, people are interested, please, please comment. It'll be great. And stay warm and keep the fire going.